Hey everyone, welcome back. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how you can set up the GoFish on the Ubuntu. In my case, I have already installed the Ubuntu in my virtual box on my local and that's where I'm going to show you how to set up GoFish, right? So without wasting time, let's get started. So let me open the browser. First of all, let me click on the view and make a full screen mode so that it won't create any additional disturbance right here. In the browser, open the new tab and here you have to mention GoFish, right? Once we are on the website, which is the getgofish.com, we will click on the downloads and downloads should take us on the GitHub releases, okay? This is the official repository of the GoFish as the GoFish is a uh, open source project, okay? Now, here I have a bunch of the options uh, in the assets. We, this is the very latest re release which is 0.12.1 okay and if i go into the asset section can you see go face version whatever it is linux 32 bit and linux 64 bit is available so we are going to download a uh, 64 bit version because in my os it's a 64 bit uh, installation in your case if it is 32 you can continue with that if you have mac os x you can continue with the this particular OS X option. Remember, whatever we do in the Mac OS and whatever we are doing in the Ubuntu, the process is going to be uh, identical. There will be only few changes. Okay, great. Uh, let me click on the folder right here so that I can see the file. Let me extract this particular zip file, go into the folder and I get to see some options right here. So obviously the GoFish binary is there. Then there is a readme file, version file and license file, these three files, which are by default uh, from the uh, this particular GitHub repository. Let me delete those files because it is creating additional distraction. Uh, when I click on the configuration file, in this particular configuration file, I'll have all kind of configurations. In the template file, obviously, I'll have the templates also. And in the settings, I'll have statics, I'll have static file like uh, Whatever the static file which will be being used in the templates, I'll have that right here. CSS, JS, images files. In the DB, I'll have SQLite database file, uh, which will be storing the user information, SMTP details and uh, all that stuff, right? Great. Now let me open the terminal right here and let me do ls right here. So can you see the GoFish binary don't have executable permission. So what I'll do is chmod plus x and then I'll say uh, go fish, right? And hit enter. Now if I do ls, can you see it is turning into the this particular green, right? So that means it has now executable permission. So if I do right now dot slash go fish, then it should execute the go fish. But it is saying uh, time whatever it is, level fatal and open messages dot version, no such file or directory. Oh. It looks like whatever the files we de deleted in which I have deleted the version file also. So this file is important I guess. So what I will do, I'll right click here and I'll uh, restore that particular file from this trash, okay? So that file will be restored. Can you see right here? Now let me go back to the my terminal and execute the gofish execution command. And it is saying right now the permission has denied for 0.0.0 so that means it needs the pseudo level access to execute on this particular uh, Ubuntu because it needs to have access to port 80 and port 80 access can be only allowed as a root user. So let me do one thing. Here I will sudo and uh, then uh, dot slash go fish and let me type my password and that should launch the this particular go fish. Let me see. Let me copy this particular URL right here. Let me copy the link, go in the browser and let me paste that particular link. So obviously it will show not secure and this particular potential risk ahead because it is using self sign certificate. Uh, the username and password, obviously when we launch the GoFish, we get username and password right here. So user is admin and the password is this one right here. Okay, so I'm just going to copy the password and here I'll type admin and I'll type the password also. And this password is uh, supposed to get changed. So let me just copy any random password right here and save that password. And I'll say update that password here also so that it will be easy for me. Okay, 
so yeah this is how you do setup on uh ubuntu of the gofish right so if you have any doubt please let me know in upcoming videos we are going to explore the each uh options in the gofish each functions in the gofish one by one until then thanks for watching and see you in the next in the whole process if you feel like you have any doubt or something then what you can do is you can go to the fluxet.com and here you can add your question or simply you can add your question in the comments also i'll try to answer your question but if you add your question in the community there are a lot of people around more than 200 people active users they will be also answering your question so i'll suggest create the question on the fluxet.com right so yeah, uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.